Garrett, some, sometimes players say it's a distraction dealing with this stuff. Did you find it that way at all? I mean, it's it's probably different when you're uh, dealing with millions and millions of dollars. Uh, for me, it's just about continuing to, to work so, towards something with this team and this organization. Uh, it's somewhere I've been since day one, and uh, I just really didn't have any interest in going anywhere else. What do you think of the opportunity Bill Powell's getting across the hallway here? Oh, I mean, he's showing the type of player that he can be, and we all knew he could be, and we all wanted him to be that player. And um, it's unfortunate that he had to go somewhere else to, to find that opportunity, but, uh, you know, I couldn't be any more happy for him. The, the steps that he's taken in his life and in his career in the last couple months have been huge. So, um, you know, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to watch him grow up as he was somebody who was drafted in my draft class and we were both kids and, you know, we're not anymore. So it's, uh, it's just good to see him have success here and uh, I just hope he keeps it going. 2011 draft class, this makes you the second oldest serving Leaf, uh, Nas 2009. What's it meant to your career to develop being with the same organization now pushing into a decade? Well, just the, the consistency and, and peace of mind it's given me to be able to, you know, create a life in Toronto and um, not have to worry about changing scenery, uh, you know, every year or chasing the next contract or chasing money or anything like that. It's just been all about the hockey the entire time. It's just been about getting the opportunity to de develop here and um, continue to find my game with uh, great coaching staff and great training staff. Mentally, what's it like a first full year in the National Hockey League, handling the highs and lows that go with playing this game, especially in a market like Toronto? It's been, uh, it's been emotionally taxing, I won't lie. It's been a tough year, uh, but I, I think it's made me, you know, a better athlete and a better goaltender. Uh, I'd rather go through this stuff now than, um, you know, in, you know uh, a portion of your career where you're being relied on as a starter. It's, it's amazing to be able to come here and deal with, you know, success and struggle and, and triumph ultimately. So um, I'm just looking forward to continue playing this year and uh, have a few more good starts and, and keep building something. Garrett, you said earlier you, you had to learn that there were different ways of playing goalie, right? Like there's different positions within the position. Um, from, from, from the beginning of this to now, how much more have you learned about the ups and downs of that? Well, I get to watch Fred every night, and, uh, you know, there's no better mentor to have in front of you. Um, I feel that when you're young and an impressionable goalie, the, the goalie that's in front of you, you, you start to absorb a lot of that. and. Um, you know, I'm just fortunate to have him out there and get to learn from him and watch him on a daily basis. But at the same time, um, it also it makes the comparison uh, that much more challenging, right? You, you have to live up to the, the greatness that he brings every day. So um, as I've said, it's just uh, you can think about it as there's, you know, so many different positions within the position. But at the end of the day, if you're stopping the puck, you're doing your job. That's all anybody's asking of you.